Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. We're back at American Outback, and we are getting ready to harvest. Uh, we got our fields uh, planted in, uh, what do we got them planted in? I don't even remember. Uh, let's see, soybean for 1 in 20. We got the barley, that's the original uh, crop that was planted there in uh, 19, and in 18 we've got the wheat. Again, another original crop there, so let's get to it. Alright. So we're getting down into the final uh, countdown before the big uh, DLC release of the Big Bud. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is just uh, do a lot of harvests on this map and uh, try to make some money. I could do the cheat mod. I really hate doing that. Uh, just, just a have enough for those that DLC but uh, I think selling grain would be better what I'll probably do is just get a bunch in, in the storage um, I'll have to uh, get another silo if I do that and I may just do the money mod again I really want the big bud DLCs on this map though because of the large fields so um, I'm hoping to get those uh, real soon when they come out uh well let's face it i'm gonna have them day one so definitely want it they released uh some new fact sheets um that new brent auger wagon looks cool uh it's got the crawler tracks uh, you can do standard or crawler tracks on it it's got a 53,000 liter capacity i believe uh, comparing that to the largest one in game right now which is the well it's actually this one right here the Bergman this has a 43,000 liter capacity I do believe yeah 43,000 so it holds 10,000 more liters uh, you can put crawler tracks on it it uh, very it's very very good looking so we'll uh, we'll probably get that oh man I'm in his way let me get out the way there I am looking up auger wagons and talking and he can't even do his job. All right. Tell you what, we'll get our cruise control set down here, and we'll start emptying him off here. Right there is where we want it. Turn my lights on for safety. All right. We'll just go ahead and uh, ride along with him here and get him, keep him, try to keep him empty. I'm not sure what the yield will be here, but. We'll find out here. We'll just stay with him all the way to the end and find out how much we get for two passes. Oh, it looks like he only looks like he made about thirty-five hundred maybe per pass. Somewhere in that neighborhood. We'll stick with him here. Yeah, there's rumors of some new maps coming out. Uh, forgot what the name of that one was called let me look it up here basically it had like three large fields let's see here if I can find it nope that's not where I want to go Alright, we got uh, about 5,600 for two passes, so I think he'll be alright to go and make another pass, a couple passes by himself. Mustang Valley? Is that it? Maybe that's it. Mustang Valley or Mammoth Valley? I think it's Mustang Valley.
Yeah, that's it. Mustang Valley Ranch. All right, sorry for the long pause there. I was trying to find the name of it. Mustang Valley Ranch. Uh, rumors swirling around that that might be coming out. Uh, I'm really hoping for Rattlesnake, but uh, I've been told it's a 4X, a 4X map, and those 4X maps are just not ready to come to console yet. So, I uh, wish they would, though. I mean, I would even take a larger game file size to, to have the bigger maps. So, it would be nice. Or I could get a PC in the long run. I don't know. I'm just I'm just not a PC gamer. I'm, I'm I like the console. I know you can do more with PC. You can do custom scripts and more mods and stuff like that, but. I'm just not a PC gamer. I'm a, I, I, I have the PS4 here and I have the Xbox One S, so I don't really play on the Xbox One S as much as I do the PS4. Um, I prefer the PS4, I think, uh, just because the controllers, they fit so much nicer in your hand. But, uh, I don't know, I might get back into Xbox One S. But yeah, that's this is the plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do some harvest. I think ahead and make some money. Uh, that or I'll just do the money mod and uh, be ready for the big bud DLC that way. I don't know. I really hate doing the. Uh, the money mod. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have money, but uh, I kind of want to kind of want it to be fair. I mean, it's it's really cheating, but I mean, you're not really running your farm that way. Alright, I am going to let him just roll now. And I uh, tell you what, I may get this cedar started. What do I want to plant there next? Well, let's look and see what we got in storage here. 15,000 a wheat. That's going to change when we do 18 though. Barley's going to change. Canola is not going to change. 52,912. I wonder what our capacity is right now. Might ought to go ahead and buy a silo. Well, I need to see what the capacity is first. So we'll get these soybeans in. Guess we could do a whole soybean. Or canola. I don't know. Get this over here in position, get it ready to go at least. Just go ahead and shut him off for now until I decide what we're going to plant. Um, hopefully I'll find out what the capacities are with these with these harvests. Maybe with the wheat back there. Because wheat's a higher yield crop anyway. So uh, maybe we'll find out just how much it is. Where's this guy at? Oh, he's at the shop. I wonder why I left him here. Oh, I brought him up to get that uh, fertilizer from the last episode and uh, ended up leasing a uh, New Holland. Now where am I? Oh, is this the New Holland? I need to take that back. Huh? The New Holland's stuck in a bush up here. Let's see. Let me make sure he finished his job. Where's the uh, 
There he is. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like he finished. So that's that's he was hiding in that bush right there. It's funny. So we'll take this guy back. We don't really need him. We're on one stage fertilization right now. And um, like I said, this is just a small New Holland and just a nice lease to have from uh, just to get those fields fertilized to get the extra, that extra yield off of them. I don't have my beacons on. What's wrong with me? All right. Yep, we'll return that. And I forgot you have to back up and get back into that. And we'll return that. All right. So they won't charge us for another day of it. I actually need to take this truck and trailer up there. This is the new B, uh, BSM trailer from, I think it's from Black Sheep Modding. I'm going to take it up and uh, get ready to haul some crop back here. Get inside my cab. I don't think there's any traffic on this road. turn here. Yep, this is where I turn. There's my harvester over there. You know what? I haven't emptied him in a while. I wonder how much he's got. We'll find out when we get there. Actually, just I think I'm gonna park him right here, so he doesn't interfere with anything. Uh, wow, he's actually okay to go. Probably need to empty him on this next pass, though. Soybean aplenty in this auger wagon. $452 in wage payment. Of course, that's from fertilizing and Just this little bit of uh, harvesting here. Almost done with this field though. Yeah, they were talking about on the uh, developer blog how they uh, went out and recorded the, uh, I think they went to the Welker Farms in Montana, and they uh, recorded the custom sounds for the Big Bud DLC. So uh, when you start them up, it'll be a custom uh, Big Bud engine sound. And uh, 
Looking forward to that. That should be pretty cool. We'll say if you've seen the recent trailer for it, I mean, the, the animations alone look pretty neat. The fans, you know, start up on the, the radiator fan, starts up uh, in the engine, looks like, and um, it looks pretty neat to me. Still a little in cab on the harvester here. They do a lot of soybean production here in uh, America, and uh, it's nice to see that crop added on here. I wish YouTube didn't have a copyright thing on music. Um, I may put some of that uh, YouTube music back on here at some point. But uh, they have a radio on here. You can actually turn the radio on in the settings. They have several different stations that you can go to and uh, play the music. But if you record it like you do for YouTube, they will uh, flag it as copyrighted material. So, yeah, I hate it, but uh, I'd rather not get a copyright strike on YouTube than, than uh, I don't know, if anybody watches this and you'd rather hear some music, uh, maybe just in the background, Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Need some subscribers. Don't uh, don't get a whole lot of them. Definitely need subscribers. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel here, go ahead and subscribe. I mean, if you're watching the video, I put these videos out all the time. If you like Farming Simulator and uh, just like farming, I mean, like the video, subscribe, and We'll keep going. We'll keep making videos. Alright, I am just going to let him fill up and empty directly in the truck, I think, when he gets done with this last half pass there. Zoom in to the green tank and see how it's going. Looks like it's going pretty good. Got the auger animation in there. That's pretty cool. I love that they added the dust cloud. The dust cloud is awesome. I mean, it's not it's not a lot, but it's it's there. It's something. So, I think that's pretty cool. And this guy's still waiting. Guess I could go ahead and empty him. They had forecasted some storms here, so I was wondering if I was going to get to uh, get on here at all. Can I make it up to this point to dump? Yeah. I'm like right under this thing. Like right on it. Yep. My toolbox is in it. There's a little toolbox or something right there. It's inside that little column. Filling this truck on up here. I need to decide what I'm going to plant here because I definitely need to get him rolling. Um, well, how much soybean? This is one, roughly one field. Where's my truck? There it is. 22,000 liters. I think we need to do soybean again. So I'm going to do another soybean. I'm going to try to max it out. Let me switch that to the soybean. There we go. And he may run out before, I probably should have go fill him up, but I'm just going to go ahead and get him started here. If he runs out, he runs out, we'll go get some more. The shop's just around the corner, I think, from here, isn't it? Yeah, just kind of up the road there a little. So we'll let him plant a soybean. 
There's our trip. There's the harvester. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this stuff harvested, and uh, I'm gonna keep planting these uh, these fields. Try to, I guess, try to to build up some uh, money. See, see what I'm gonna try to find out what the max is on the silos. It's probably either a hundred thousand or two hundred and fifty thousand. And if it's either, then we'll definitely have to buy a silo. So, but we'll let this guy do his job in seeding here. Try to get the combine out of the way. Wonder if I can make it down that road without uh, running into any problems without unhooking this thing. Probably not a good idea, but you know what? I never really have any good ideas on here, so we will find out here shortly. And we're going to have to find out soon because that cedar is a coming. I'll have to move that tractor too. Right, we're just going to bushes just a little bit here. And the cactus. Oop, hit the truck. All right, let me stop there and let me move this guy around here. Come on, you can beat him. Let's run over the cactus. I'm so glad those are phase throwable. You have no idea. Alright, let's see if I can get this combine down the road here. Let me get my pipe in. No traffic there. One car going that way. I think we can do it. I think we can. Might hit a few cactuses along the way. But I think I can even uh, go around them a little bit. rock. Scaring kind of got away from me. Alright, we'll get this going here. Alright guys, so that's the plan. I'm going to get these fields harvested and uh, replanted. And uh, I don't know when I'll come back uh, to, the, to the video part here. Uh, I won't plow these fields together. Uh, before then, though, I'm probably just going to replant, replant them, and uh, try to get uh, as much crop in storage as I can, as I can afford to, before I have to make a sale to buy more silos or, you know, something like that. So, until then, guys, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you guys next time.